Oh, what's up, YouTube? It is your boy, JB, and I'm here today with the review for The Real Housewives of New York City, Season 13, Episode 10. The episode is titled Light as a Feather and Stiff, well, Light as a Feather, Stiff as a Board. And the episode was literally Stiff as a Board, B-O-R-E-D, the way that it's spelled. The episode was just not that great to me. You guys, I, are we at the, I'm, I'm one, when are we getting to the midway point? Because um, New York started good for me. It started okay for me, but now it's just going downhill. And I and I love I like New York, but yeah, I'm over it at this point. Um, yeah, but um, before we get into the video, let's um, if you guys are watching this video, like if you guys are watching this video and you guys are not subscribed to the channel, then hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit all the buttons on the channel, and with fur without further ado, let's talk about New York, shall we? All right, you guys, so I really only have six, for my notes, it's only six little scenes that I have, so this is going to be a very short video. So, we pick up the episode where we left off. You guys remember they were at the tattoo shop, and they were having the con con uncomfortable conversation with Ramona about her voting for you-know-who, right? Um, I'm over it, to be honest with you guys. Like I said in last week's video... Ramona is not a white supremacist. None of the ladies are white supremacists. None of them are. We all know that, yes, you know who he was the poster child for white supremacy. We all know, like Ebony said in the in this episode, that he, he, he lit the flame. He told the Proud Boys, stand back and stand by, right? We know that. But like Leah was, Leah was telling Ebony, when it comes to Ramona, Ramona did not vote for him because of the white supremacy. Ramona voted for him because of the taxes, the ta him, his tax breaks that he gave to the rich. That is why a lot of people, even black people that are rich, that is why a lot of black people voted for him because of the tax breaks. Nothing else. Nobody believed in anything that the asshole said. It was literally those tax breaks that he was doing. I will say in this episode, I did like the fact that Leah and Brashawn had a conversation with Ebony about how she comes across. Like, I'm glad that they had that conversation with her. Like, I, like I've been saying with Ebony, it's one thing. I'm not going to sit here and educate. I'm not going to sit here and continuously try to educate these white women on black struggles. I, I'm not going to do it. That's not my job. If you want to be educated, baby, go grab a book. Simple as that. So, and that's, that's what I said here, right here in my notes. That's literally what my notes says. It says Ramona nor Luann wants. Now, Ramona and Luann, because Ramona and Luann were talking to Sonia. Now, Ramona and Luann actually got on my nerves in this scene with Sonia. Because they were like, oh, let's talk about your, let's talk about the matchmaker. 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 Sonya said, I, I'm not trying to tell you, I'm not trying to tell you right now about the matchmaker. What I'm trying to tell you is when me and Leah, not me and Leah, me and Ebony, when we went out, Ebony is a fun time girl. And they just kept talking about, let's talk about the matchmaker. I think they did that as a deflection, thinking that Sonya might bring up the whole, the whole um, Ebony educating them thing. But I don't think that's what Sonya was doing at this point. I think Sonya just wanted them to know, hey, yes, we've been talking about the fact that Ebony can be quite preachy, educational, but there is a fun side to Ebony. I think that's what the situation was. But whatever. So then the ladies finally sit down and have dinner. I'm like, wait a minute. That's right. Y'all just literally walked in there and sat down. Y'all ain't even had dinner yet at this point. So, Ebony says she has something to tell the ladies, and Leah started crying, right? Um, Leah started crying. I'm like, okay, why is Leah crying? And then I figured it out. I'm like, oh, Ebony's grandmother must have passed away, right? And that's what happened. Ebony's grandmother passed away. So, Ebony says that she wants to get a tattoo to symbolize her grandmother. And, oh, God. We got drunk Sonya arguing with um Brashan about tattoos and the fact that now we remember last season when Leah came on to Real Housewives of New York City they were they did judge her about her tattoos and I think that's what they were doing I think I mean even Sonya said it she said yes she was judging but she did kind of backtrack it 
I'm like, either way, go, you're still judging. I love, you know, like, look at my tattoo. Like, I have my grandmother's name right there. I got her name on t- tattooed on me before she passed away. Like, my mom is tattooed over here, I believe. You guys will never see that tattoo because it has faded into my skin. Got that before she passed away. Like, I have a lot of tattoos as well. I don't get why people judge people who have tattoos. If it's not for you, it's not for you. And just say that. Tattoos ain't for me. And move on with your life. Like, I'm moving on with this scene. All right, you guys. Um, Honestly, th- honestly, this episode didn't give me anything. Listen, honestly. Now, right here in my notes, because they were talking, because um, who was it talking? It was Sonia and um, Ramona. They were in, in um, one of their beds. And Sonia was talking to Ramona. I really hate the way that Ramona and... Um, like I said, Ramona and Lou, they really dismiss Sonya. And I don't like that. Like, I really don't like that. I can see why Sonya, when, film, when they stop filming, I can see exactly why Sonya does not fool with Ramona or with Luann. Because they are completely dismissive of her altogether, right? And once again, like I said, I'm glad that Rashawn had that conversation with Ebony just telling her, like, girl... It might it's uncomfortable for these women to have this conversation with you. Oh God, Ebony, Ebony, Ebony. I really like Ebony. I really do. I really, really, really like Ebony. I think she's a, a cool girl. It's the it's for me, it's the educational thing for me. And it's not just the white women that are uncomfortable. It is the black people who watch this show. We're uncomfortable as well. Like I like I said. For me personally, I wouldn't be on this tire. I wouldn't be on this this whole, this whole, this whole scholastic thing of trying to educate these women. If the women don't want to learn, that's on them. If the women do want to learn, I'm cool with you know giving you my 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 the knowledge that I do have, and then I'll tell you. But that's just my personal experience. Why not go read a book? I'll, I'll, I'll say, you know, go read such and such book if I knew who, who to read or what topic they want to talk about. I'd be like, you know, go read a book or go Google. Go go do something. Don't come to me. I'm not an encyclopedia. I'm like, no, boo. It ain't for me. Oh, God. All right, you guys. So then the ladies go to um, Pioneer Village. When they said Pioneer Village, I'm like, oh, hell no. Colonizers? Hell, the fuck, no, not no goddamn colonizers. Uh-uh. Then they wanted them to dress up like the colonizers. I was like, oh, hell no. I'm like, Brashawn and Ebony, if you guys even even think about putting on them colonizer outfits, I will tweet you, I will tweet up a storm to both of y'all asses. Why would y'all put on them colonizing ass outfits? Like, hell no. So, no, Brashawn nor Ebony uh, put on the colonizing outfits, and neither did Ramona or nor Lou. Um, where were we at? So, they gave him a tour. I really didn't care about the tour. Um, where are we at? 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 Poor Sonya. Ugh. So, Sonya was having a conversation with Brashawn, right? Oof. Sonya, I need you to do one, I need you to do two things for me, boo. And I love me some Sonya. But Sonya needs to, one, get rid of that damn townhouse. She needs to let go of the townhouse. That is number one. And number two, Sonya does have a... I don't, I'm not going to say Sonya's an alcoholic. But Sonya does have a bit of a drinking problem. I think, with, I think what it is with Sonya... Because, you know, she was talking about the water pills. You guys remember they discussed the water pills last season. I think... So, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to sit here and say that Sonya has a, 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 a drinking problem. I'm not going to say that because we have scenes of Sonya where she's not drunk. I think what it is with Sonya is that when you give her alcohol, she doesn't know her limit. And that is why we see her get so belligerently drunk. I think she just doesn't know what her limit is. And I think, and I know when when it comes to reality shows and housewives in particular, they feed the women alcohol. They feed them a lot of alcohol. And I think Sonya needs to get to a point where she can say, you know what? I'm good. I got a little bit of a buzz. And I like this buzz. And let me let me let me stop drinking. I think that's where her problem is. 
I don't think she has an alcohol problem. Again, like I said, I don't believe that she has an alcohol problem. I just think she has an issue with what her limit is. I don't think she knows her limit when it comes to drinking. And that's period. Let's move on. I told you guys this wasn't going to be a long video because we're wrapping up the episode. So the ladies went to dinner, right? Brishan. She told the ladies that they were boring and that they were like grandmas. I'm like, girl, you're at dinner. What do you want them to do? Turn up at dinner? I mean, they have done it before. But, I mean, we just sat down for dinner. Like, girl, we ain't even ordered We ain't even ordered a drink yet. And I think, she, and, and she said that they were boring when Leah said she's not drinking. Lou said she's not drinking. Sonia was talking about what she likes to drink. I'm like, girl, they were, order, they were just ordering drinks and we talk, they, and they're boring. Okay. So they all get upset when she called them grandmas. I'm like, wow, that's what sets you off. Being called a grandma. Okay. And who did it upset the most? Lou. Lou was the most upset by that grandma comment. I was like, okay, Lou. Well, I mean, technically you are old enough to be someone's grandma. Not no shade, but okay, whatever. I'd be like, I'm a fine, I'm a, I'm a damn good looking grandma at that. You like come back come back at her with like she said y'all some grandmas. But like, well, I'm the I'm the I'm the best damn looking grandma you ever saw. Like something like that. Don't get so huffy and puffy about it. Like, come back at her. Come back at her. So then they want to get to know Bershawn. I'm like, oh, this is, okay. This is going to go, okay. Uh -uh. So Bershawn tells him she's she's um going through a lot of, a ton of losses right now. I was like, a ton of lawsuits, huh? She did say that she's in a lawsuit with her ex about her ex. I'm like, okay. Okay, I ain't got nothing to say. I have nothing to say. I literally have nothing to say. So once again, Brashan and Sonya get into it because they got into it about the tattoo comments. Now they're into it again. Now at this point, I was like, okay, Brashan, I feel like you just started some shit to start some shit because she told Leah that she said they're one of the smartest things today and that the women talk about her, right? So then they were like, well, Wait, they were like, wait a minute, who, whoa, 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 who talks about Leah behind her back? And she wouldn't say, but then she eventually said it was Ramona, and the fact that Ramona said that, you know, she, um, she couldn't really connect with Leah. I mean, that's something that we've been seeing that Ramona doesn't connect with Leah. I think the thing with Ramona and Leah is Ramona looks at Leah as, like her daughter, even though Leah is much older than her daughter is, but I don't know why, but whatever. So, Leah, Ebony, and Luann, they got up and left, right? Leaving Sonya, Ramona, and Brashawn there. Why did they do that? Because, I mean, Sonya at this point was drunk. And she was going off on Brashawn. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, God. Now, Brashawn tries to pretend like she was drunk. I thought Brashawn was drunk at one point. But I'm like, maybe she's not. Because I was listening to the way Brashawn was talking at one point, And Brashawn was slurring her words at one point. So I don't know if she was drunk or not, right? Oh, God. The end of the episode was was all over. The, the end of the episode was just a screaming match. So I, I can't really tell you heads or tails what was going on. I know that Leah and Ramona had a conversation with each other. And Leah felt like, you know, we I felt like we had connected with, you know, my, you know back when we were... What were they at again? I don't remember. The first trip they had earlier this season, she thought they connected with her grandmother. And, and Ramon says, we did connect. Brashawn, like I said, I feel like Brashawn was stirring the pot at this point because Brashawn was rude. Now, she was, I will say, Brashawn was rude as fuck. She kept, because this is the second time she's called Sonya a clown. You're doing this, uh, 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 stuff like that. <laughs> she called Sonya a clown and then she called her a hoe. I'm like, oh, wow, a hoe? A hoe? A hoe. Well, you know what? Leah called them all hoes too, right? So, if I didn't have an issue with Leah calling them hoes, I guess I can't have an issue with Bashan calling them a, her a hoe. So, that's really the episode, you guys. It really was not much. Um, yeah, New York. I hope... I, I don't know what to say about New York. I had such high hopes for this season in New York. 
really did but that's it um like the video leave your comments subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell button and take care of yourself you guys remember wash your hands wear your mask socially distance or wear your mask or not socially distance be blessed and i'll see you guys later bye guys <laughs>